And welcome back, everyone, to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win it comes from Madeline Spaulding, who asked the question, Who won the fight? Ash Williams? Groovy. Or Conan the Barbarian? To hell with you! I was trying to think of a Conan quote there. Uh, and if you do not listen, then to hell with you. Backhand prayer, my dude. Uh, obviously, these two guys never met. Although, technically speaking, you could make the... Well, no, I wouldn't say... I don't think... Time frame wise, Conan could have taken. No, they're not in the same world anyway. But even if they were, I don't think Conan would have been in the same time frame as um, the as for uh, uh, Army of Darkness. So I don't think you had a bit more of like a European Templar Knight kind of thing going on with that one versus Conan, which is a lot more even farther back, like almost like B BC versus AD. But anyway, uh, Ash Williams, or Ashley Williams, uh, we know his story. He and his friends went to the cabin. Unfortunately, they read from the Necronomicon, summoned the Deadites. All of his friends pretty much got got, except for him, who managed to survive, except he got possessed briefly, took his arm off, replaced it with a chainsaw, and they fought them again in <laughs> Army of Darkness, and then in his own series. He's not a particularly physical individual in the sense of he, he's like you know he's not a warrior in the traditional sense he's in, in his peak which i would say is army of darkness he's in good shape he's a guy who's in good shape like he could definitely deck you if he had to and he's also got like a new metal glove which is forged from a knight's uh, armor how you how he was smart enough to do that by the way who knows i don't think anyone figured he was that intelligent but he he is that intelligent uh, which goes to that. He's actually very intelligent. <laughs> he's very also, he's quick witted. Like he can think on his feet. He can in fact strategize. He's not an idiot. Uh, even in Ash versus the evil dead, which I only saw a little, a little chunks here or there of Ash versus the evil dead. Even with that, he's, he's more just a guy who wants to just live life and not really like we have to deal with this shit. He likes the sim simplicity of, just being able to have a drink, get laid, just party, not have to think. He like he kept working about that out uh, smart for uh, like well after uh, the end of the original movies or uh, series. Uh, you know, shop smart, shop S smart. Um, that's where his uh, famous shotgun came from. But um, sorry, that's like in my mouth. Uh, so it's not that he's stupid or anything like that. It's just he just wants the simple life, <laughs> and he just can't freaking get it. Uh, but that being said, he is still, he's learned how to fight pretty well with a chainsaw, with his uh, double Barrington shot, barrel shot, glow, cobalt, cobalt blue steel, uh, steel, and a hair trigger. Uh, retails for about $199.95. Uh, shop smart. Shop S smart. You got it! Um, but yeah, he, that, his general, general fare is his chainsaw and his shotgun. He doesn't normally have any other weaponry on call. He, if, uh, if he can, does have the materials on can, though, he does know how to make homemade explosives, uh, but that takes a while. Um, he can't, I mean, he's not bad in a fight either. He's, he's a bit more of a brawler and um, not really a true martial artist or a fighter in the traditional sense of the word, but he is capable in a fight. That being said, Conan the, Conan the Barbarian doesn't have bring a lot to the table in terms of versatility. He is Conan. He is a barbarian. We know what happened. His village got ransacked, raided. His mother was killed in front of him. So his father, he was taken host, uh, taken prisoner as a slave, made to push wheel. Uh, and then he got uh, rescued, became basically a warrior, like a barbarian, a barbarian, and went out to seek his own kingdom and became King Conan within the stories uh, and when the extended material. But the thing is, he doesn't have much in the way of actual things to bring to a fight. He's physically jacked. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously, but um, he's even in the books, he's physically jacked. Like he is insanely strong, probably well past a. I wouldn't say he's like peak, peak like beyond peak human. Like I don't know if you could say he's superhuman. Although to be fair, I didn't do much reading of the extended uh, stories in the books or um, not. Com well, yeah, there were comics. He might verge into superhuman strength a bit in the comics or the extended materials. He is still though a war master warrior, master swordsman. 
Uh, he is, uh, and he is just a skilled fighter. He's also not dumb. Should be known. Conan is not stupid. He's again more like Ash, where it's just like, yeah, I, I don't need to exhaust my energy thinking if I can just, you know, get things done, uh, the you know, more simple, more efficient way. It's more like he's not a fine-tuned instrument. He's not a scalpel, but he's also not a hammer. The best way, the best weapon analogy I could use to describe Conan is probably like a broad axe. He's got an edge to him, meaning he's got some sharpness. He does have some intelligence there, but he is designed more for just power. He's more of a power tool than anything else. He's a power weapon, not designed to do anything really sophisticated, but more to just hammer his way through his opponents. So in a fight between these two, who wins? Well, like I said, in a physical contest, Ash, even at his peak, isn't competing with Conan at all. And in fact, in a close-range fight, Ash is going to get his ass handed to him. But Ash is also smart enough to understand, I don't want to fight this guy close-range. Probably doesn't want to fight this guy to begin with. And if anything, these guys would probably actually team up, which would actually be a pretty cool crossover. I don't know if they did the co any comics of Ash, Evil Dead, or Ash and Conan. Let me know if they did in the comments below. Uh, but these two would, these two are kind of like polar opposites because Ash is not, would not be good at hand in combat. His his chainsaw is not going to really do much against that sword. Now, to be fair, if a chainsaw and a sword clash, the chainsaw isn't is gonna technically win, not because it's stronger, but because the ch rotating blade is just kind of keep causing the sword to rattle. And if someone doesn't have a firm grip on that sword, it could cause them to lose the grip on the sword. However, Conan definitely has a firm grip on his sword. So these two are just going to clash. Should also note that the sword is a lot less cumbersome and a lot easier to move, and especially used with just one hand, than a chainsaw is. A chainsaw is clunky. It's not designed to be a weapon. It's designed to be an actual tool. Whereas a sword is that can be both. Uh, and it's predominant, it's predominantly more of a weapon than a tool. You, want, you can be both, but you can be more in line with one than the other. So in close range, Ash is going to be completely get his teeth kicked in. He can't physically compete with Conan. Skill-wise, even in terms of like a fight, he still can't compete with Conan. And weapons the weapons, he can't compete with Conan. But the problem here is that Ash brings modern weaponry into this fight. Particularly a shotgun. Now, Conan has survived some impressive stuff, but a shotgun blast to the face, he is only human. That is going to blow off his head, or at least either kill him or mortally wound him. He takes a shot to the heart, he's dead. He get, granted, he's big enough, bulky enough, and, uh, and muscles probably dense enough to actually survive a couple shots from a shotgun, provided they don't hit any vital areas. Like, say he gets hit in the chest. It, assume, it also depends on what type of... Um, uh, sh bullets, um, shells he's using, Ash. I think Ash is using birdshot, not slug, or uh, or deer slugs. Not he's using he's not using slugs. He's using sh scatter shot. I'm pretty certain he's using scatter shot because a, sl a slug and sc and spray are two very different effects. And based on what we see in the Evil Dead movies, it looks like he's using a spray of some kind, either birdshot or um, or buckshot. But um, my, I'd probably be leaning more with Buckshot, honestly. Now, for those of you who don't know uh, guns, and again, I'm not an expert on what Mark would be the expert. Mark goes, Mark goes to the gun range all the time. But I do at least have a knowledge, above average knowledge. Uh, buck or bird shot is basically when you get the pellets in the uh, shotgun shell, and it, come, it fires in a spray effect, which is basically, as Dave Chappelle put, that'll just pepper, that ain't gonna kill a man, that'll just pepper him up. Basically, you're just gonna get a bunch of, like, smaller slugs in there, and they're gonna go in, and they're gonna hurt, and they can kill you, but if you're, especially if you're going from a distance, it's not designed, it, it's designed either to open you up, depending where it hits, like, if it hits your gut, that could open you up, or it's more designed to kill a, um, kill either, hence birdshot, a large group of birds and hit a bunch of them at once, or it's designed to pierce multiple organ or uh, multiple spots in an organ to you know kill something uh, relatively quick. A slug is designed to put you down. A slug, as it's described, is a giant chunk of metal that is just designed to go poof like boom. And 
uh, and you go, it goes boom, and there might be nothing left in there. There might be just a hole there. Or it's designed to, that one is designed to either put, stop you, put you down, or just open you up. Or literally just blow a chunk out of your arm or something like that, or blow your hand off. That That's what a, a slug is designed to more or less do. Ash, I believe, is usually probably buckshot, which means Conan's going to have at least an easier time surviving. And actually, now that I think about it even more, yeah, it's obvious he's using buckshot because his, um, or at least it's it's obvious he's using some sort of scatter shot because when he shoots his clone doppelganger in the face, it, his face is still mostly there. It's like chewed up, but it's still mostly there. Um, that being said, Conan, so Conan could probably survive shots from birdshot or buckshot, provided he's not getting shot in the face, to the eye, or taking multiple shots to the gut. But the problem is, Ash, keep it, Ash has a lot of bullets on call. And to be fair, he at Conan, while he's got great reflexes, wouldn't know what this weapon is. So he's not sure what this does. So he is probably going to actually end up taking a shot before he realizes, I shouldn't take a shot from that. Now, the question becomes, does, is that one shot he takes going to be a lethal shot? Is it going to be a shot to the face? Is it going to be a shot to the gut? And again, even then, the gut shot's probably not going to kill him outright. Uh, is it a shot to the knee? Does he kneecap him? Because that's the thing. He doesn't necessarily have to shoot him in a lethal spot. He just has to put him down on the ground and make sure he doesn't keep coming. If he goes for, like, the kneecap and just shoots him there, oh, Conan's fucked. He's done. That's all he has to do. If he goes for a throat shot, he's dead. If he goes for a face shot, he's either dead, blind, or blind and dead. Um, if he goes for a gut shot, he might be able to survive it, provided that, uh, nothing more happens. But if he goes for, like, a knee shot, oh, Conan's going, going down. And I think, honestly, yeah, I think because Conan's not familiar with what a firearm is, granted, there are, I think, minor explosives, like, like, very primitive explosives in the Conan world, but, again, a gun is not something that exists. So because of that, I think Ash will get the win simply on the grounds that Conan wouldn't know what this weapon is. And he's going to probably take a shot that's going to end up crippling him or at least putting him out of commission. I don't think Ash is going to try to kill him because he is human. And this is just like whatever the spite would be, it would most likely be like a misunderstanding. But what I do think will happen is ultimately he is going to end up just being like, okay, that's enough, and just shoots him in the leg. He's like, ah! Oh! It's like, all right, now and just stay the hell down, dude. It's like, you. And he just, Conan would try to get, is able to barely stand. And this time, if he if Ash tried to fire, he would try to block it. And then he blocks some of it, but also gets some in his chest. Like, oh! Ash is just, tch, 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 tch. okay, don't, don't, no more, dude. Come, it's like, come on, man, just stay down. Stay down, please. And then he'd do, maybe do one more shot to, like, the shoulder. But, okay, <clears throat> all right, look, those aren't lethal if you get them taken care of, okay? You're going to have to pick some stuff out of there. It's fine. You won't be crippled for life. Just, just stop it, please. And then Ash walks off. That is the over... So, yeah, I... Again, because of a lack of knowledge of firearms or Conan's part, and because Ash isn't stupid enough to go up against someone physically like this, I think Ash would win on that ground alone. If the fight ever did come into close range, though, Conan would butcher Ash in a heartbeat. No, there's no denying that. But yeah, because of those circumstances in which this fight would probably have to take place, I would go with uh, Ash in this case. But look, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.